In Vampire the Masquerade, Swan Song, you play as three vampires, Galeb, Laisha, and M.M., and investigate a catastrophic event that has struck the vampires of Boston. Your choices decide the fate of your characters, your sect, and Boston itself. Let's explore just some of the unique narrative RPG mechanics in the game. To thrive as a vampire, you must use skills and attributes displayed on your character sheet. Each character sheet is unique and will evolve as you play, giving different options, from unlocking a door to convincing someone to let you pass. Even a single point gained can completely change the way you approach a situation. Vampires also possess different disciplines, vampiric powers that can be used to solve problems. MM uses celerity to access the inaccessible. Laisha's auspex heightens the senses and allows you to see potential futures. Disciplines can be upgraded to unlock new powers. For example, Obfuscate allows you to move undetected, but when upgraded, lets you conceal objects too. Powers don't come for free. You need willpower points to use skills, and your hunger increases as you use disciplines. Hunt for blood to sate your hunger. But fresh blood can be scarce, and if your hunger becomes too great, you may lose control entirely. Traits and talents influence your character sheet. Traits are positive or negative effects influenced by success or failure, or by taking certain decisions. Talents are side goals that reward players for sticking to a certain play style. For example, if you can control your hunger for blood, this talent will grow, making it easier. Each NPC has their own character sheet. They'll use their own skills and, depending on your opponent, vampiric disciplines too. If a dialogue fight ends in a tie, a die roll will decide the winner. In this world of desire and betrayal, there will be crucial confrontations. Confrontations are tense dialogue fights with high stakes. Fail and you'll live with game-changing consequences. These are just some of Swansong's RPG systems that open up a new world of narrative gameplay. It's basically a narrative game, like you've played many of them. But the twist we want to make with that is adding like characteristic and statistics in that thing. So you won't always be able to choose the option you want if you haven't spent enough experience spawn in that, in that power, in that specific competence. In the game, you will play powerful vampires, but we are going to put you in a situation where power aren't enough. You will be surrounded by humans and you need to respect the masquerade in order not to reveal your own nature. And to use a power, you're gonna need blood. And if you're an out of blood, you're gonna be in a bad situation and you're gonna, you're gonna need to replenish that. Vampires have characteristics that really make them obvious to humans that they are vampires. They are cold like a dead body. They don't breathe, they do not live. They're basically dead. So you need to use your power, use your, your skills and discipline to hide that from them. And the core of the game is social interaction. We're gonna have you talking to a lot of people because we're gonna put you in scenes where you will be surrounded by humans. You're gonna need to be smart, you're gonna need to hide yourself in the shadows and blend yourself in. And in many ways, you could say that dialogues are the combats of our game, Vampires the Masquerade Swan Song. Um, so as we stated before, you have a character sheet with a lot of stat statistics in it. And every NPC you will find in the game will have their own character sheets. And you will be fighting with these statistics whenever you'll be talking to them. The World of Swan Song stars a lot of conspiracy, a lot of secret and shadows. Boston is very much like every city in the world of darkness. There is a lot that, that's happening below the surface and in high places also. The Boston you will meet when you will start the game is in kind of a crisis. There is like a problem in the blood supply. And in order to prevent the chaos from happening, the Camarilla has decided to reunite it with another factions to help with the blood supplies. But at the beginning of the game, there is a gigantic attack that happens at the party. And you will need to investigate, you will need to use your ability and powers to understand who is behind all that and untangle everything that happened.